Good morning and happy Friday to all of you. I want to thank each and every one of you that watched my intro a couple weeks ago, right before Christmas, uh, as I'm launching my new YouTube channel. So thank you so much for your support, your encouragement, your subscriptions, your likes. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do this at least once a week throughout the next year, and we'll see how that goes. And uh, today I'm just going to kind of go in and talk to you about a topic that I've been getting a lot of questions on, and that is how do I make my website load faster? Well, good news is there's a lot of tools that help us do that, uh, all the way from tools called Google. Um, you've all heard of Google. They have a, a ranking system. There's another one called Why Slow, uh, which is a very good benchmark to use. And then another one called GT Metrics that I also like to use, which combines a couple algorithms to kind of see how your website is doing. So without further ado, I'd like to show you a website that I've created and how I've optimized it for page speed. Now for today, I've got the same site, but it's done two ways. One is I fully optimized it using some plugins through WordPress, and the other one is just a standard version of that website in WordPress with no optimization features whatsoever. So this is a client of mine, and I performed this for them, and you too can do this as well. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that tab that I have, and you will see here uh, this Micro Benefits website. I've got two tabs open here in my Chrome browser. One is the main uh, website. The other one is the speed.crowndns. And so for all intents and purposes, these are exactly the same website. One is optimized and one is not. So let me show you the difference here. Let's go to the website that has not been optimized yet. I've got a browser plugin called YSlow, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click it up here uh, in, in the upper right. And we're gonna click that. And this Chrome extension comes up and it's going to grade the page that you're on. I'd highly recommend uh, downloading and installing this extension on your Chrome browser. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit run test. It's gonna go through uh, and finding all these components and grading them for me. As you can see here, I'm getting a 77 overall grade. And it breaks these down into different areas. As you can see, some of these are actually getting an F some are B, some are A's, some uh, not applicable, uh, things like that. So uh, 77, while that's not too bad, um, we want to get this thing up to a much higher score. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this same web page over here on the optimized version of the micro benefits, launch the extension once more time, and I'm going to run the test. And you're going to see the difference here in here. So we went from a 77 to an overall performance grade of 96. And so by using some simple tools, we're able to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the same, um, the same websites to grade them on the GT Metrics. So let's go to gtmetrics.com and I'm going to paste in the URL here. This is the one that is not optimized. I'm gonna go ahead and analyze that and this can take a minute because it's going in and, and downloading all of the assets of the website and grading them all the way from caching to uh, image size, image optimizations, minifying your JavaScript and your CSS. And I'm gonna talk about those here in just a moment. Whoa, so we can see here that we've got a grade of a D, not only with their scoring analytics, but also combined with Y slow score. And you're gonna see here all of the different things uh, on how I can rank and get this better. And each one of these is going to give you um, examples of what is wrong and what you can do to fix those situations. Now let's just go back to the page here and let's do the website that has been optimized. And let's do that one. Let's see what it does here with this, as uh, this one has been fully optimized through some tools that we're gonna go over here in just a moment. So be a little bit patient, especially if your site has a lot of images, a lot of JavaScripts and things like that. It might take a moment for these to download and to give you your overall, your overall score uh, for page speed. So we're getting close here, it's coming in. 
Oh, look at there. We've got a page speed score of a 97 on the other one and the Y score of 91%. And as you can see, these assets are coming in very, very nicely with very, very high scores. Now, the last tool that we use to test with just to get an overall grounding of where we might be ranked, and that is Google PageSpeed. And they have a tool as well through their developer tools. And I just search for Google PageSpeed and this, this site comes up. Now, Google is a lot more strict. And so your scores with Google aren't going to be as high as you might find, especially if you're using a WordPress theme, because you don't always have the opportunity to take control of all the assets such as JavaScript and CSS files and uh, things like that with your, uh, with your themes. So let's do this first one here and we're gonna analyze it here with the Google PageSpeed Insights. And it's getting close there. Whoa, not very good. The nice thing about this one here is it gives you not only a mobile version, but a desktop version. So our mobile version here, we're scoring a 34 out of 100. And it gives you things that you should fix, consider fixing, and the things that are passing. And then on the desktop uh, as well, so we scored a 38 on that one with the website that has not been optimized. Uh, let's go here and grab the URL of this one, come back over to Google, and let's analyze the website that has been optimized through some of these plugins that we're gonna go over in just a moment. And, okay, so not, not too terribly bad, 65, but certainly twice as better as before. And then on the desktop, it ranks much higher, 84 on, on the rankings there. And again, with these things that uh, Google is suggesting that we fix, with the theme that I'm using, I, I don't have the opportunity to, to change these. If I was coding this by hand, I'd be able to fix these suggestions, which would rank the page much, much higher. But as you can see, we have this website here that has not been optimized, and we have this website here that has been optimized, and the difference is absolutely astonishing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna log in here. We're gonna get into the WP admin here, and I'm gonna show you the tools that we use to make this happen. There's four plugins uh, that are really gonna help you out. And I'm just gonna kinda go down the line here. So let's go into our plugin tools. And as that loads, the first one is the Amazon Web Services plugin. And I'll have links for these all in the description so you guys can follow along, put these in, and install these on your own websites and things like that. The Amazon Web Services is just a series of PHP libraries that allows some other plugins to interface with the Google um, Web Services, Am I'm sorry, Amazon Web Services, uh, the S3 and, and the CloudFront, and to optimize and to get your images onto a content delivery network. network. So that's the first one that we use. The next one that I use is called Imageify. This is an essential tool. If you're not gonna do anything, at least do this. This is a tool that's free. It gives you a certain number of uploads per month for free, but it will compress your images. And I'm gonna show you an example of what this looks like here in just a moment. But Imageify is the next one. The third one here is WP Offload. Now this one is so, so powerful. Uh, this is a paid plugin, but what happens when you load in uh, a photo uh, or an asset to your media library, it's gonna automatically send it to your S3, your Amazon S3 uh, bucket that you have created. And we're not gonna go into that today. I'm gonna go into that a little bit later in another video. But assuming you've got a, an Amazon S3 bucket, as soon as you upload an image or an asset, it automatically sends it to the Amazon S3 servers for you and then writes that URL into your pages so you don't even have to worry about it. It's absolutely amazing. Then the next one is WP Rocket. And like Imageify, if you're only gonna do some bare minimum things to make your page uh, do fa go faster and load faster, I do WP Rocket and Imageify. The other ones you can work on doing later. But this is going to cache your assets so that it uses the browser to help with page speed. Uh, huge, hugely beneficial in helping you guys make those pages run and load a lot faster. And I could do a whole topic on WP Rocket and Amazon, which I will do later. I'm just wanting to show you guys the basic um, tools here that I'm using for this. But I wanted to show you the um, Imageify and what you're able to accomplish with that. 
your image load and your image sizes are gonna be huge in getting your page to load faster. Here is an image that I've uploaded uh, through just the media library. And with that Imageify plugin, it's going to allow me to compare the original versus the optimized. And it's gonna show me the percentage that I'm able to gain on that. So I'm gonna click on this. And you'll see here that on the left side is the original image. And that file size was 1.04 megabytes. Over here on the right is the optimized image and it, once it's been optimized, went down to 226 kilobytes for an overall file savings of almost 79%. Now the cool thing about this plugin is I can drag this slider bar and I can compare the original versus the optimized. And guys, I gotta tell you, in most cases, I cannot tell a difference, yet this image is 78% smaller. That's going to be huge. For, uh, for your page speed load, download speeds and your page speed scores is optimizing your images. The other thing, I'm just gonna touch quickly on it and then we're gonna be done for the day. In WP Rocket, the nice thing about this is it allows you to minify uh, your JavaScript files and your, HT, and your HTML and your CSS, basically, and combine them. So if you have a lot of assets, it's gonna take them and put them into one and then remove all of the spaces, all of the uh, return carriages, and make it a minified file, which is gonna save a lot in your page downloads uh, time, and it's gonna be very, very significant in helping your page scores rank higher. Now, there's a lot more that we could go into, but for the most part, uh, these are the basics, and if you do these four plugins and work through uh, getting your site optimized this way, they're gonna download a whole lot faster for you. They're also going to rank higher in the SEO, and it's gonna give an overall better experience for your users. Thanks guys, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little video, so to speak, tutorial. I'm not necessarily sure as a tutorial, but just more of showing you how I've done this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. And uh, today is the last Friday of 2016, so Happy New Year, and we will see you guys next time around. Take care.